Taking a look now at some news out of Henry County, Virginia. A once bustling school in the Collinsville area is now home to 39 apartment homes. Contemporary in design, the apartments integrate the historic charm of former classrooms, including the school's cafeteria and even the principal's office. On Thursday, November the 16th, a ceremonial ribbon cutting co-hosted by Henry County and the developers of JRS Realty Partners was held to celebrate the transition of the former John Red Smith School into what is now known as School Drive Apartments. The Collinsville ribbon cutting ceremony included speeches, lunch, self-guided tours, and entertainment by Collinsville's own bluegrass band, the Southern Gentlemen. Now, originally built in 1952, the building sat idle since 2018 after the school was permanently closed. Attended by local community members, dignitaries, and new apartment residents, the event marks a new era for the historic building. John Garland and Jim Cherney are the catalysts behind seeing the project come to life. As the developers of JRS Realty Partners, they teamed up to address the region's workforce housing crisis by building a model of collaboration with county, city, state, and local authorities to find new ways of leveraging idle and often run-down properties. They refer to their approach as community-supported preservation. The partner's business, named JRS Realty Partners, is an acronym for the school's name. Working in collaboration with Henry County, the developers set out to address the region's local housing crisis by identifying and converting existing properties in the area that have outlived their intended use. The Fieldale School Apartments was their first such local project, which was launched in February. Today, School Drive Apartments adds 39 apartment homes to the local housing inventory. Dale Wagoner, Henry County Administrator, said a lack of high-quality housing has been a challenge for them in their economic development efforts. He said, as with Fieldale School, the innovative use of the former school building makes a solid contribution to addressing the housing needs. He added that it's the kind of solution that local industry has been asking for. Jim Cherney, who is a partner with JRS Realty, said the support and encouragement they've received from local leadership and citizens has made all the difference in the world. He said once they began to engage with local leadership, they caught their infectious enthusiasm for the community's future. Now, when the four projects of the historic collective, as it's known, are completed, the partners will have invested over $25 million in the area. The three other buildings that make up the historic collective include Fieldale School Apartments, completed in February and fully occupied, the Fed Street Lofts, Marketplace, and Makerspace Studios, a mixed-use conversion of the former Winn-Dixie building in Uptown Martinsville, and the former seven-story BB&T building in Uptown Martinsville to be called One Ellsworth, a centerpiece of 63 Uptown apartments with a, fle- with a number of flexible commercial retail spaces. Now, you can read more about the Historic Collective at their website. It's historiccollective.com, and that provides more details and launch dates.